up wedding nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for black clover chapter 90 which is called students which uh, is, makes a little bit of sense because last chapter Benzel was facing his past he's facing the students that he trained and it, I really like that we got to find out like to find out his role in the diamond kingdom because Benzel was really high up I forgot how high up he was. Shit, he's training motherfuckers. <laughs> but um, the other thing that really stuck out to me and um, is that they said that the Diamond King is dying. And this is why they're going after the um, the Witch of the Forest. so Or the Queen Witch of the Forest. Or I like to call her the Queen Bitch of the Forest. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to this chapter i'm really excited and this cover is gorgeous it's with benzo and with um oh my god and with aster and it says um unsheath this sword for the sake of my dreams and as i said this chapter is called students so now oh we're in a flashback so one day with the budding warriors listen carefully your powers are um for you to protect people don't you ever forget that okay Okay. Oh, look at Mars! is a cutie! He's so cute! Mars is fucking adorable! Like, look at him as a kid! You're like, I, don't tell, tell me, oh my god, don't tell me you wouldn't want to hug, hug and squeeze that. Like, he's so precious! <laughs> he's so precious! Oh my god, now we're back at the bow. Uh, with, and Rav, I gotta say, Ravros, like, Ravros is cute, but Mars is just so adorable. Ravros has that like creepy ass chipper smile, and he had that creepy ass chipper smile last chapter. Oh man, come on, Francel. Ravros specializes in fortification magic, so that last attack shouldn't have done anything to him. I need to hit him with all I've got. You're going to need to stop. You're going to need to stop right there, Mars. Among all the students that um. I've ever taught. He's definitely the strongest. You know who Mars reminds me of? He reminds me of Leon from Fairy Tale. Like, I don't know if it's just the look, especially without the diamonds in his head, but it is for it. But he fucking reminds me of Leon. He just does. Um, if I'm within his uh, his reach, the current me doesn't stand a chance. Windmate Gale, Emperor Sheer Peak. I need to keep distance between the two of us. Oh, fucking a Damn, like, Mars! Ah, oh, I am loving Mars even more! Now with my full power, um, powered attack, Gale Emperor, Gale Force! Oh, Fizzle! Oh my god. Radross was an anomaly who didn't have an element elemental type. Mr. Kruger, can a non-elementalist like me um, get really powerful? And that was always something he struggled with. So... It sounds like to me that where Kruger or Kruger was is that he was um or uh, he was training all the um, elementalists, but it got not just that. It's just like think about the Diamond Kingdom as a whole. Then, like this particular squadron that Benzel was training was um was uh was an el was a, an elementalist function. So in a way, if you think about it. Radross is kind of like um, Aster, because remember, Aster is an anomaly within himself because he doesn't have any magic, but he can control anti-magic. So there you go. And that was always something he struggled with. That being said, oh, poor, poor, oh, like, and also poor Radross. I just want to, like, now I want to hug him. Like, don't cry, Radross. That being said, he had a larger well of mana than anyone else. Whew. If he learned a powerful long-range spell, we're in deep shit. Therefore, I need to take him out first. Forgive me. No, yeah, no, no more, please. I, if I take any more of this, I'll be completely stuffed. Oh, God, her face is creepy. Oh, no, I take it back, Red Ross. No. This is what I mean by chipper people are creepy as fuck. That fucking face is creepy. He's not even scratched. Holy fucking shit. Uh, after you left, I took the military's reconstructive surgery, and this is the ability that they gave me. Absorption and expulsion. Holy fuck. 
I hope we get to learn more about the Diamond Kingdom uh, military capabilities, uh, scientist capabilities besides this. I'm curious now, what the fuck is the military doing over there? Whatever magic attack um, I'm hit with, I'm able to absorb it into my body. And whenever I like, uh, and whenever I like, I can expel it out. In other words, um, it's your own magic that will kill your forces out there. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's like a Kirby. Red Ross is fucking Kirby. He is like an evil Kirby. Oh my god! He totally is. He is an evil Kirby. Oh no, what kind of crazy power is this? It's the Kirby power! And it's not just Radross's power, I can feel multiple magic powers welling up together. Didn't you- Oh my god, before- is it... Am I not- am, am I the only one that thinks that Radross is Kirby? Like, god damn it, Radross, you are Kirby, but just creepy as fuck. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, didn't you bring someone very important to you out here? I think you should run to save her now. Oh no! No! Red Ross, don't fucking do it, you fucking bastard! Now you're competing with my magic. Ready or not, here I come! A uh, million laser! What? Yeah, what? Oh my fucking god, that million laser! Oh man, that million laser, bro! Oh my god. That just gave me goosebumps. Oops, I got too excited and wiped out our men, too. I wonder if Mr. Kruger is still alive. Oh, there he is. Domina, Zell... Zell... Oh, thank god Domina's still alive! Oh my god, Domina's still alive! That would've sucked if she died. Wow, there really was someone important to you out here. Dude, Rav Ross was fucking bluffing, that asshole! Um, but look at the state uh, you're in. What were you thinking? So you're Mr. Kruger's important person. You're making me jealous. Wait a minute. Haven't I seen you before? I remembered. You're the lover uh, who he fled with from the kingdom. How are you? Stop, please. You need to use your powers for good. I have been properly using my powers. I never once thought of using these powers of mine to protect people. You fucking asshole! That is not what you... God damn it, Brad Ross. Brad Ross, I, I, I gotta ask, did the, did the military brainwash you when they did these surgeries? Because that is the only thing I could think of. It's the best feeling in the world to use the powers you have to your heart's content. I want to be recognized by our kingdom, by the world. That's why I did all that training, and now look at me. Look at me. I'm a general. What's with all the sugarcoating? Isn't it because you're this damn weak that you lost the election and was banished? <gasps> he was banished? Oh, my God. Fenzel was banished? Holy fuck. Okay, we are learning things now. Don't preach to me, you damn coward. My husband is not a coward. Yeah! All right, I'll start by killing this woman. No! Stop it! I don't! No! Wait, what? What? My power is for protecting people. Mr. Kruger, your teachings did reach me! Yes! Go, Mars! I love you, Mars! I love you, Mars! Mars! What are you? Is it treason or an awakening? Oh my gosh! What the fuck is that fucking sword Mars is holding? Oh my god! That sword or uh, fucking A! Oh my god, that sword! What the fuck is that? Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! I, 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 like, this chapter was fucking amazing! I really did not see, like, especially this particular battle, go this route. I mean, we learned a lot. We found out, um, uh, we found out last chapter, I mean, that he was, that, uh, uh that, uh, Kruger was a teacher. Um, it was, you know, he was a teacher in uh, the Diamond Kingdom. We also found, we found out this chapter, he motherfucker was banned. 
finished and lost the election. So hopefully we're going to learn a little bit more about how the politics work in the Diamond Kingdom. Um, Mars probably will explain a little bit about what happened. We'll probably find out um, what's been happening since um, uh, Banzel was banished. Which, please, please make this happen. But this is, that's what my line of thinking is. Hopefully we're going to find out, like, I think it's just his, like how the philosophy um, and the worldview changed in the Diamond Kingdom. Because if you think about it, the reason I the reason he was banished and lost the election in the first place was because of his of his view. Because to me, I don't know if anyone else feels this way or not or believes this, is that the Diamond Kingdom has become more like more militaristic and they don't fucking give a fuck about any about their own people like they're just fueled on hatred and i like this this freaking hatred and this darkness and i want to know what caused it what caused this but anyway oh my god this chapter was so good let me know your thoughts in the comment section below like what do you think of Bar? Like, what do you think Bar's power is? Is, is it like a like a wind blade? Oh my god! If it's a oh my god, I'm gonna be thinking of Inuyasha next week. <laughs> Mars is gonna release a wind scar, motherfucker. What? Or wait, did he release one? Hold on a second. He did. He released a wind scar. Let's just roll with it. He released a wind scar. <laughs> Mars is releasing wind scars. He's got the Tet Saiga. <laughs> it's the Tet Saiga. We got the Tet Saiga here. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think of, especially the um the past few chapters, including this chapter of Black Clover. Like, do you? I love. I'm loving this development here, and I'm loving that we're gonna find out more about the. Uh, we're finding out more about how the Diamond Kingdom, or the state of the Diamond Kingdom, and I'm kind of hoping we're gonna go to the Diamond Kingdom. Maybe with the uh, with Queen Bitch of the Forest, because maybe she wants to go out of curiosity, because it seems like she has that type of personality, and f see what's going on with um with the Diamond King. And also, I'm curious how she became so bitter. Like we actually we know why she became so bitter was because Vanessa left, but there's got to be another reason behind it too. So. Anyway, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. And if you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to the Nerdigans Inc. expansion, there's a couple ways you can do that. You could donate to the Nerdigans Inc. Patreon or purchase something off the Nerdigans Inc. Amazon wish list. Both links are in the description box below. And remember to follow me on the Twits, aka Twitter, uh, Twitch, and friend me on PlayStation Network. And until next time, my fellow Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.